the 2016 BMW M2 by AC Schnitzer. When you start talking about aftermarket tuning companies that specialize on BMWs, the name AC Schnitzer will inevitably come up in the discussion. The German tuner prides itself on being one of the best in the business when it comes to creating programs for BIMers and that form has held true to this day. Take for example its latest project for the BMW M2. It's loaded with upgrades from front to back and everything else in between. That includes a tuning upgrade that brings the sports coupe's output up to 420 horsepower, 50 ponies more than the stock output of 370 horses. It's hard to expect anything less than the best from AC Schnitzer. In addition to the engine upgrade, it also prepared an aerodynamic kit, a new set of wheels, interior upgrades, and suspension adjustments, all with the goal of turning the M2 into a bona fide sports car. Hard to argue against that logic, right? The kit also happens to come at a time when so many other tuners are taking stabs at the BMW M2. A lot of the past programs we've covered have been impressive in their own right, but with AC Schnitzer in the mix, the choice of which program is the best just became a lot more difficult. So go ahead, check out what AC Schnitzer has to offer. Just be reminded that the tuner earned its reputation for a reason. Continue after the jump to read more about the BMW M2 by AC Schnitzer. Exterior Aerodynamic kits are staples in AC Schnitzer's tuning arsenal and to no one's surprise, this program for the M2 has one. The key ingredients of the kit are the carbon front side wings and the carbon rear wing. They're good at enhancing the M2's sporting looks, but they also work in concert with the new front splitter, rear roof spoiler, and carbon rear diffuser in adding more downforce throughout the car, allowing it to maintain its impeccable handling characteristics even at high speeds. In addition to the aero kit, AC Schnitzer is also offering carbon mirror covers for cosmetic purposes and a rear skirt protection film that ensures maximum protection on the surfaces it's covering. The last piece of the exterior tuning puzzle is a new set of 19 and 20 inch wheels that AC Schnitzer developed in-house. Prospective customers can choose from a variety of wheel types, including the AC1 forged allows. Interior the most overlooked part of a car as it pertains to tuning programs wasn't spared by AC Schnitzer. Sure, the modifications only consist of minor items like an aluminum pedal set and footrest, a key holder, handbrake handle, an aluminum cover for the M2's iDrive controller and velour floor mats, but at least there are some things in the cabin that's can be considered as aftermarket. Drivetrain This is the center of AC Schnitzer's tuning kit for the BMW M2. The engine modifications are mostly of the software variety, but the tuner is also offering a charge cooler that helps improve the engine's efficiency, something that can spell wonders for the M2's 3.0-liter turbocharged six-cylinder engine. The result is a power increase to 420 horsepower, a nice bump up from the engine's standard output of 370 ponies. The result is a power increase to 420 horsepower, a nice bump up from the engine's standard output of 370 ponies. That extra power may not look like much compared to what other tuners have to offer, but the extra power becomes more evident when paired to the tuner's new silencer with valve control and the pair of tailpipes that can be purchased individually. Collectively though is where they bring out the most delight as they're able to provide a natural, unbridled roar coming from the engine. Suspension and brakes Yes, AC Schnitzer covered all of the bases with this program. It even has RS coilovers on offer, which it developed specifically for the M2. They're fully height adjustable and they come with compression and rebound setting and lowering from 1.18 to 1.57 inches. Another kit on offer is the suspension spring kit, which is capable of dropping the M2's ride height by 0.98 to 1.18 inches at the front and 0.59 to 0.79 inches at the back. Competition BMW M2 by G-Power From one aftermarket heavyweight to another, G-Power's recent program for the BMW M2 revolves around a similar set of upgrades that revolves around the engine modifications on the sports car's 3.0-liter turbocharged six-cylinder engine. 
In G Power's case, the tuner is offering two tuning modules, the, the Bitronic 2V1 or the Bitronic 5V1 that provide the same power increase to 410 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. The numbers are enough to help the M2 sprint from 0 to 124 miles per hour in 14.5 seconds on its way to hitting a top speed of 180 miles per hour. Read more about the BMW M2 by G Power here. BMW M2 by Alpha N Performance Alpha N Performance may not have the household name attached to it compared to AC Schnitzer and G Power, but it has proven itself to be capable of building a tuning program that's worth a strong look. The highlight of the tuner's kit is also the work it put into the Sports Coupe's Turbo 6 engine, most notably the software tune that helps bring the M2's output number to 450 horses and potentially, 420 pound-feet of torque. It has to be said, by those numbers, Alpha N has the advantage over both AC Schnitzer and G-Power. Find out more about the BMW M2 by Alpha N Performance here. Conclusion The name says it all, doesn't it? Granted, AC Schnitzer has had some clunkers along the way, but for the most part, the tuner has lived up to its reputation as one of the best aftermarket BMW specialists in the business. This program isn't going to set the tuning world on fire, but it is comprehensive and it is for the current darling of BMW's M division. You can opt for another program, as is your right. But you can also opt for this one, which just so happens to come from one of the most trusted names in the BMW tuning scene. Love it all encompassing upgrade components complement one another it's AC Schnitzer. Leave it not the highest engine return might be too much for some other options available. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.